I'm here with UFC heavyweight Maurice, the crochet boss green, who fights Marco Marcos Rogerio Lima on May 8th. How are you? Oh, man, I'm doing awesome. I can't complain, man. I get to do what I love for a living. Every day is a holiday. That's awesome. I, I see you coming out of the gym. What'd you work on? Um, Man, a little bit of everything. I'm always working and striking and uh, just trying to get better in every way I can, you know. Uh, sometimes it's the small things that really matter. So I'm um, just trying to get back to it, you know. Yes, sir. Um, we're 10 days out. How are you feeling? No, I feel like a million bucks, man. I, uh, You know, we, we've taken a long layoff to, to really take some time and get better and get used to, you know, how everything works with Jackson Wink and, the, you know, just, just used to getting used to the, all, all the new things I'm doing. So uh, I'm ready to fight, man. I'm ready to fight. I mean, there's really not a lot of shit talking or anything to do. I mean, you guys will see the, the improvements we made on fight night. Awesome. Um, but before we get to your fight, uh, I've noticed that you've been making some dope coasters. So I was going to ask Fucking you. The dopest coasters. <laughs> no, seriously. Uh, if, you, if you're going to start going by the coaster boss. <laughs> no, nah, nah, nah. the crochet boss is my crafting name. That's my alias. <laughs> uh, crochet is what has my heart. Coasters, you know. I just get to recycle my beer cans, okay? Now think about it. I repurposed it. So I buy beer. I drink all of it. Then I make coasters. And I sell them to you with my signature on the back. And you know it's authentic because I drank that beer. I drank all the beers for all the coasters I make. If you want to call me an alcoholic, that's on you, okay? I call it being crafty. I agree with you. I agree with you. And those coasters are super legit. I was, I was, I was like, I was in awe. <laughs> Thank you. Pretty, pretty simple to make. I mean, anybody can really do this shit, man. It's just nobody wants to take the time, spend the effort. You know, I get gratification from uh, using my artistic artistic ability in other ways versus just in the cage. Because I feel like I'm an artist painting a picture in the cage like I do uh, when I crochet, like I do when I make coasters and put my, my, my own uh, touches on it. You know, I call it the crochet boss way. That's how we do them. All right. That's right. Um, you're coming up on a year in uh, Albuquerque, correct? Uh, getting close. Yep. August. August. Um, how are you and the family settling, settling in? Uh, we're good, man. We're doing awesome. Uh, I mean, I know I say it every fight, but I keep growing every fight. But, uh, you know, mentally, I, I want to say mentally, mentally and physically and everything in every way. It's just, uh, I mean, I feel great, man. I just, I'm happy your, your, your mood makes a big difference. Uh, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a happy individual on a daily basis. I mean, I wake up and get my day started at 3.34 in the morning, every morning. Not because the alarm clock goes off, because I take my ass to bed early and wake up at a time to start my fucking day. So. Did you miss the, uh, the uh, gnarly winners in, in Minnesota? Like, missed it? Yeah, we missed that shit for sure. We missed it. We weren't there. Uh, but do I miss it? Hell no. <laughs> I mean, we did miss it. You're right. We missed it. We was not there. <laughs> hey, and we're never going back. <laughs> so, like, this is the, oh, you lost me. You take it easy, Ethan. This is the, uh, it's raining out here right now. We don't never get a little bit of rain. It'd be nice. You know, when you get snow out here in Albuquerque and you get rain, motherfuckers still be happy. Like, shit, we got rain because I know in about 30 minutes it's going to be sunny. It's going to be sunny. It may be cloudy with a chance of meatballs. It could right. be. That's all right. right. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> it's all good. All right, here we go. We're good. Boom. Um, and then I do got to ask about uh, your arm triangle choke against John Volante because I think it was the most slept on submission of 2020. Um, especially because you were you were hurt in that fight. Um, did you practice that at all, or I mean, how how did that come? Like, how did I just that do jujitsu. I just do jujitsu. I'm having. I'm, I mean, I do jujitsu. Let's put it that way. I, I'm not like there's some a lot of MMA fighters that do jujitsu as well, but like I, you know, I do jujitsu, and uh, I don't do jujitsu just for MMA. I do jujitsu for jujitsu, and um, I, I like arm triangles. I like arm triangles, and I know you can get it from the bottom. And I knew he was sucking air, and I knew if I got it just right, I could get the tap, and uh, I did. 
and I'm the second person to do it. I made history twice. I made history twice. Shit. Let me get some, let me hit somebody with a twist or let me go ahead and be, get three up in that muffle, you know? Get another, if I get another triangle choke, I'm tied with Stefan Struve. So I got to get three of those. I got to get two more so I can break that record. Right. Um, all right. So let's just talk about Marco's dilemma. Um, what do you think of the matchup? Love it. Wouldn't have took it if I didn't love it. That, 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 that is true. That is true. Um, I believe um, I heard you say that this is just the, your last fight on your contract. Is that right? Um, I don't know. Actually, I can't can't answer that question. Um, if it is or not, uh, I'm 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 sure you're 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 gonna uh, want to go out there and sh make a statement, right? Um, yeah, man. I just it's not even, bro. I, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna be honest with you. At the end of the day, in 2021, um. Uh, my, my goal is just to buy a house, man, to buy a house for my family, if you really want me to be honest with you. Like, um, I know if I can win a I, – I know when I win a couple fights, um, that dream's going to come true for me and my family. And um, that's my driving force. I don't give a fuck what – man, from the most respectful, humblest place, I don't give a fuck what Mr. Deleem is doing right now. I hope, I'm hoping he's doing everything in his power, which I think he is because I am. Um, to make sure he comes out here and puts on a show, uh, but it's not going to be enough. It's just I've put in too much fucking work at this point. I've taken a lot of time off to get better. I've gotten better. It's, there's just no other fucking outcome than me coming out there and me doing what I want to do with him. Um, is he going to hit me? Yes. Is he going to hurt me? He could. Um, but I'm going to fucking win. And there's nothing that's going to stop that from happening. That's just how I'm, that's where I'm at. Like I put in probably the most work I've ever put in in my career from, I mean, I spent 12 hours in the, in the, in the gym just lifting weights a week. And I've done that since January. And I hate fucking lifting weights. And it's not fun for me. You know, it's not fun. It's not cool to me, you know. Um, but I know it has to be done. So um, in addition to my, my sessions, in addition to my running, in addition to I go mountain biking with my kids. So it's been just, it's been a lot of a lot of effort, but it's brought my family closer living up here. And uh, man, like I said, I just want to buy a house this year, and we're gonna make that happen. So, you you think about how it's gonna come down to buying a house? You think how, well, how I gotta do three people? That's how I gotta do three people because I need that fifty on top of that too. So we're gonna have to do three people like that. And I'm gonna say that I'm gonna put that shit in the, in the world. So if I don't do it, you can say what you want to say about uh, about me on the internet. But I'm about to do this nigga bogus. Right now, give me if, a, if that kind of gives you an idea of what I'm coming. Sure to. does. Sure does. Um, right. give, give me an official prediction. What's going down on next Saturday? I'm just focusing up on winning. That's it. That's what's going down. A lot right. of gang gang win win shit. Right. That's right. Uh, and finally. Uh, I know that I know that you're focused solely on this on on this fight. Um, but when you get a win, would you rather fight Carlos Felipe or Tanner Bozer? Because I know there's those two names just keep keep coming. Um, keep circling you. You know what? I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, it really doesn't it doesn't matter right now. I know you you're right. I'm focused on Delima. And if you don't beat Delima, there's no call out that's gonna happen. So um, let's go out there and get the job done. Number one. I'll come up with a name. I'll come up with a name. You know, Carlos Felipe was, it was an opportunity. He talked shit. Uh, but he may not, who knows? I don't know. I don't know. These, these motherfuckers are not on my level. And I'm going to say that before you even see it. Cause I really feel that in my whole heart of hearts. And um, yeah. So, I mean, once you start getting up on the upper echelon of the heavyweight division, that's a different story. But these motherfuckers where I'm at, these niggas ain't talking about shit. No. When are you leaving for Vegas? Next Tuesday, I think. Okay. Yeah, normally. Normal. You know, we got to do the whole COVID. We got COVID protocols and shit like that. So, if anything, they sometimes want us out there even earlier, you know. Right. But uh, but I'm cool. I had my shot and I already had COVID. So, 
I'm good. They they cleared me for 90 days. I was like, shit. So I can't get COVID technically till after May 8th. It was like, yeah. I was like, that's what's up. I mean, it sucked that I had to have COVID, but I was asymptomatic, so that's what's up. I got lucky, man. I got very lucky. All, all joking and laughing shit aside, I was one of the very lucky ones. I had just a lot of fatigue. Um, and I've already had my first shot, too. So um, I should be good to go with that whole COVID shit right now. So all I pray is that my my teammate in his corners, not my teammate, my opponent in his corners, are able to get to the fight healthy. And um, that's it, man. You know, I'm not a, I'm not a fucking terrible person all the time. You know, just like, just like, just like, 50% of the time, maybe, maybe, maybe 25. Okay. Maybe 25. We got to be terrible like that. Like I have to be like that. Maybe not. Right. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. Whatever. whatever. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's right. That's right. All right. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll let you get out of here. I, I do want to ask um, who, who are some of your training partners this camp? Oh man. That's just, Shit, we had uh, Juan Adams, um, Davion, Davion Franklin, he's a Bellator heavyweight, Christian Edwards, uh, number seventh ranked light heavyweight in Bellator, uh, Devin Clark was here for a while, um, I, got, I got to do a little bit of grappling with John, so I mean, it's just been a, it's been a plethora of training partners, uh, more than I can even, and, there, and there's just a ton more that I get good rounds in and I get different looks from. So, um, and I'm forever grateful for, for all those guys and all the coaches and, you know, it's a team effort, man. I never thought this was like a team effort until like recently, you know, it's a team effort. We all put the work in, we all put the hours in um, just so we can get all the glory in 15 minutes. So. Thank you so much for your time, Maurice. Um, if you want to plug your social media and, and, and plug your sponsors, go right ahead. Hey, it's the Crochet Boss. You know how to find me on Twitter, Instagram, at the Crochet Boss. That's T-H-E-C-R-O-C-H-E-T, Boss Life, Boss, B-O-S-S. Um, you can find me on both platforms. And just make sure, if you guys looking for a hat, let me, let me go ahead and give you the switch of room. You guys need some hats. You need some coasters. Uh, that's my logo. That's a nice little ball of yarn. You know, go ahead to the crochetballshop.com. We got everything you need there, baby. <laughs> well, thank you so much. No problem. Thank you so much for the time.